coverage. How beautiful is this? After today's wet weather came to an end, a rainbow was seen throughout the area. A lot of you sent photos of it to us, including these from Fall River. And another beautiful picture of the rainbow taken on Block Island. This one's just gorgeous. We love to see your weather photos and videos, so please email them to report it at WPRI.com. We have a gallery, by the way, of rainbow pictures up on our website right now. And let's check in with Tony Petrarca now. So even better than the rainbow, Tony, is that tomorrow is dry and sunny. <laughs> yeah. yeah, nice day coming up. Uh, certainly uh, better than what we had today. Very active weather, not just rainbows. Had some uh, small pea sized hail in places like Boroughville late this afternoon and early this evening. So it was a little bit of everything, but we're drier now. High temps today topped out in the lower 50s. Will be a few degrees cooler for tomorrow, but pretty close to average. Made it a 52 in Providence, low and mid 50s along the coastline. Skies are clear in Newport right now. The wind's starting to pick up, and the wind is going to be a factor. It's going to be very blustery over the next several days. Newport now checking in with uh, 45 degrees, so tracking dry weather for this evening. Temperatures eventually heading down into the 30s. The wind will be picking up as well, and the wind is a factor. Gusty wind beginning tomorrow afternoon and extending through the weekend. In fact, come Saturday and Sunday at times, the wind gusts may be up to 40, even higher, 40, 45 miles per hour. So bottom line, very uh, windy weekend, and we still have rain in the forecast for part of the weekend as well. We'll show you that on the seventh day future cast. Doppler radar locally is uh, clear and dry. You can see uh, snow showers of all things in upstate New York as cold air now spilling behind our today's storm system, which is now spinning uh, off the uh, coast of Maine and intensifying. So as it moves up into Canada, this this will be our our wind machine for tomorrow. The winds increasing out of the northwest, bringing in dry air and clear skies, but a very uh, blustery day and taking that colder air from Canada or cooler air rather and bringing it into our area over the next uh, couple of days. So here's what it looks like right now. Take a snapshot of tomorrow and it's pretty nice. High pressure fair weather system building in. You see the sunshine, the storm up in Canada, helping to create these gusty winds all day long, so blustery and dry. Meanwhile, our next system for a portion of the weekend is out across the uh, northern plains. That arrives Saturday evening, Saturday night into early Sunday morning. That's the next chance of getting some rain around here. Getting real close. Take a look at Futurecast starting off this evening. We'll take you through the overnight under mainly clear skies. Temperatures by around 5, 6 o'clock in the morning heading down into the uh, well, low and mid 30s. Plenty of sunshine tomorrow, windy day. By 1, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, it's in the mid 40s, but the wind will make it feel cooler, so it's kind of a sweater, windbreaker kind of day, and sunglasses too. And then tomorrow evening, tomorrow night, skies are clear. We're still blustery and somewhat cool and chilly. High school football games should be dry, but on the cool and windy side, Tomorrow morning sunshine, sunrise at 636, temperatures starting off up at 30s to low 40s, and then during the afternoon around 46, 47 for the afternoon high with plenty of sunshine. Now most of Saturday day is dry. I'm thinking the showers are more of a Saturday evening, especially Saturday night. Because this weather system is slowing down, we have to extend some of the showers into Sunday morning, drying out Sunday afternoon. But the downside with Sunday, it's a very, very windy day with a high temperature topping out at around 52. Tomorrow looking pretty good, but as far as raking leaves in your yard next several days, oh. it'll be difficult. That's a good excuse not to do it, right? Yeah. All right. Thanks, Tony.